Okay, we are live. We apologize, we apologize, we're trying to set up. Greetings, 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 greetings to you all. Greetings to you all, God's generals. How are we? Okay. All right, we are live on uh, both our social platforms on um, Instagram and Facebook. Greetings, 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 greetings to you all, God's generals, greetings to you all wonderful people, God's special people, God's very own. Okay. We alive, we alive, we alive. Okay, happy Sunday to you all. Happy Sunday to you all, God's generals. Happy Sunday to you all, wonderful people. It's yet another beautiful Sunday, another awesome Sunday for some insights of God's word. We are ready to share the word of God. Hope you had a glorious week. Hope you won. You took charge, you conquered for the week, and you are still conquering. Glory to God. Hope you are still conquering. Okay, so right away we are going to to start. Okay, now I'm not going to do anything. We're still going to continue. Okay, so we are going to start um, sharing the word of God. But before we do that, like we always do, you know, we, we spend some time and um, appreciate God. We thank Him um, for the week we had we appreciate him for the blessings we appreciate him for you know for wonderful things he keeps doing in our lives and we thank him for divine health we thank him for our families we thank him for um you know our jobs our you know businesses and so forth we have so much to thank god for we have so much to be grateful to god for and you know it you know i don't know what is it that you know you received this week and what is it that god has been doing in your life or what is it that god did for you this week and you know we all have a reason to be grateful to god we all have a reason to appreciate him so right now i would like you wherever you are right away to thank god appreciate him thank him you know thank him your own way tell him how great he is you know just go ahead and love god go ahead and appreciate him go ahead and thank him glory to god so let us speak in tongues speak in tongues if you speak in tongues i always tell you that if you want to receive the gifts of the holy spirit and you are like okay how do i do it just send us an inbox talk to us we will help you on how to receive the gift of the holy spirit for those that want to know more about the precious holy spirit okay so right now i would like us to just go ahead and thank him let's go ahead and appreciate him thank him your own way 
speak in tongues if you speak in tongues. Let us pray. Let us go ahead and thank him. Thank him for the blessed week that we had. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for the miracles that are taking place in our lives. Father, we thank you. We are grateful to you, O oh God. Lord, we thank you, O oh God, for our families. We thank you for divine health. We thank you for our jobs, our business. We thank you, our God, for our ministries. We thank you for leadership. Lord, we thank you for your word that is working and prevailing in our lives. Thank you for equipping us with your word. Go ahead and thank you. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your word. Your word that is working in our lives. We thank you for precious Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you for divine health. We thank you for lives. We thank you, oh God. Yes, Lord, we are grateful for all the great things that you're doing in our lives. For that, oh God, we say thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you even for great testimonies that are coming ahead. Father, we are grateful. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory to God. We have so much to be grateful to God for. I hope you also do have so much to be grateful to God for. Glory to God. Okay, so um, without wasting time, uh, I have so much that I would like to share today on some different scriptures that we have. And this Sunday is Word Feast. I hope you know what is word feast by now. If you don't know, you will know today. It's word feast royals. Okay, so word feast, most of the times we share the scriptures. So what we do on word feast is we, you know, take the scriptures throughout, read them and understand them, meditate on them and hear what God is saying glory to God and hear what God is saying through the scriptures like I always tell you that God talks to us through his word God talks to us through the scriptures and you know God talks to to us also through our our pastors our leaders you know as they uh, uh, share the word of God with us so if you are preparing to go to church please don't be late if you will be preparing for church as well please don't change your mind make sure you go to church for those that went to church today hope you did have a great time in church and if you didn't go to church today please make sure you go to church next sunday don't miss church service we grow we learn so much so don't be like you know i'm not uh, i'm not uh, feeling like okay to go to church or you know all the excuses here and there please grow out of excuses go to church on time and yes you enjoy the service okay so wet feast it's wet feast it's wet feast it's wet feast <laughs> glory to god it's wet feast okay let me just make myself comfortable okay i'm trying to find a way of there we go so that I can also get to my okay so it's wet feast last week we shared um, we shared the message for last week was powerful I listened to the message and I was really so blessed by the message and I hope you also took some time to go back to the message or to watch the message please kindly go to our youtube channel fountain insights tv and watch the message there the message was go back like i did say last week i was asking the holy spirit i said i was like god okay i'm going back to where you know and am i going back to egypt or what <laughs> if you watch that message so what God was saying is that we need to go back to the first love for him. You know, we need to love him 
we go back to that relationship that we had that hot relationship you had with him it mustn't be like the past it should be everyday thing you know it should be your lifestyle you should have a relationship with god fire up in your spirit every day consistently non-stop glory to god okay so um, that was the message for us we go back go back to your first love for god go back to your prayer go back to your studying the word of god go back to all the great things that you used to do that you know you no longer do and those things help you grow glory to god especially when it comes to your spiritual life so when you want to grow spiritually you know in all other areas of your life what you need is to have a relationship with god more know him more study the word more pray more so that you can grow glory to god you know we don't want to we don't want to live in the past we don't want to be the christians of the past we want to live in the now we want to enjoy god's presence now we want to experience his power now we want to live for him now we want to demonstrate his love now we want to demonstrate his character now we want to work for him now not tomorrow so wherever you are if you are saying uh, maybe i'll do it some other time or maybe i will go to church next time or maybe i'll pray to you know when i, I i'm feeling better you know it doesn't have to be about how you feel or whatever we need to be consistent with the love that we have for god and don't be lukewarm don't be cold don't be hot today and so forth your christianity life has to be consistent in um loving your god and you know your journey should be consistent glory to god okay so it's wet fists like i said so we're going to take some few scriptures that um i put together and if you check there it's written wisdom so basically we are going to take some few scriptures that we'll share and um we will be talking about the wisdom of god you know we want listen royals we have been listening to the messages we've been preaching we've been sharing the word there has to be a break you know whereby you you like obviously every single day you apply what you learn you meditate on it but there's a time whereby you know what just focus on the word more you know we focus on together not alone so that is what word feast is all about all about us studying the word it's more like bible study of course it's bible study but it's word feast we want to feast more on the word of god glory to god okay so uh the scriptures that i would like to take the first one is proverbs so um, proverbs 2 6 let me see okay Let's look at Proverbs 2, verse 6. And it reads, For the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. For the Lord gives wisdom. The Lord gives wisdom. So wisdom is something that you are given. It's a gift. Sorry about that. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. There's a message that is actually on our Facebook page. Like, you know, I couldn't download the, 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 the message. It refused. Um, Facebook refused me to download it. I think by then, because uh, there were some of our previous videos that were there that I had not yet uploaded on our YouTube channel. So when I was done, I think I downloaded more than enough videos. So later on, Facebook uh, didn't allow me to download this particular message that we once shared on Wisdom. So I couldn't upload on our Facebook page. That, I mean, on our uh, Insta, I watch this on our YouTube channel. Sorry about that. So that's why um, it's just on our facebook page so you can go down scroll down to our facebook page and look for the message on wisdom you know that was uh one of the most powerful message that i shared and when we were talking about what is wisdom we need to understand what is wisdom when you say i have the wisdom of god what do you have 
what is the wisdom of God actually? So we explain so many things on that. So I'd just like to take this. Uh, wisdom is the quality of having experience. The quality of having experience, knowledge, and good judgment. The quality of being wise. Okay? The quality of having experience, knowledge, and good judgment. So, basically, when you say, I have the wisdom of God, is that you have the, the, the you know, it's like more of like having the ability to make use of whatever the knowledge that you receive, uh, the knowledge that you have been receiving, and, you know, the, 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 the revelation of God's word, knowing how to apply it. So wisdom is knowing how to judge right, knowing what to do with the information that you have and knowing where to apply it and how to apply it. So when you say, when God says for the Proverbs 2, 6 says, for the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth come knowledge and understanding from the mouth of god comes knowledge and understanding uh, sorry for the lord gives wisdom from his mouth that's the mouth of wisdom come at knowledge and understanding so the wisdom gives knowledge and understanding so when you say i have the wisdom of god you are saying i have the knowledge and the understanding now you are saying i know how to apply this wisdom that I have. So wisdom is a gift. Glory to God. Wisdom is a gift. So when you say, when, when somebody says, you know what, this is wisdom. Or when somebody says, you know what, you are speaking wisdom. So that means that person is saying, you know what, you 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 are speaking, you know, what is, uh, what enables, like what, what, when you when you speak it when you say you know what you are speaking wisdom you are saying what you are speaking is what can actually be applied and it produces results and you need to know where to apply it glory to god so it's just for the lord gives wisdom from his mouth come knowledge and understanding from the mouth of wisdom come knowledge and understanding so like the message the previous message we said we need to pray when it said ask god to give you that wisdom wisdom is a special gift the special gift that makes you uh, that causes you to do to make right decisions glory to god so we're just going to be taking scriptures you know a lot of scriptures but what i want you to understand is that so it's for the lord gives wisdom from his mouth come knowledge and understanding Understanding. So we have been receiving the word of God every now and then. We are always studying the word of God. You know, every time you meditate on the word, before you sleep, you meditate on the word, before you sleep, every time you pray and so forth. But now, you know, we have so many Christians who say, I've been going to church for the past 15 years. I've been going to church for the past five years. I've been going to church. I've been praying for this particular thing to happen, you know. I've been praying, but now I don't see anything working. Maybe the reason why you are not seeing a change is because the, you are not applying the knowledge that you receive in church. You are not applying the knowledge that you receive from the Word of God the right way. You are not. Uh, you not have the specific understanding. You know, and this applies to everybody. Like we all, at some point, you we have asked ourselves, okay. I've been going to change, but I've been praying for this condition to change for all this time. Why is it not changing? Sometimes, uh, you know, when we we're doing um, evangelism yesterday, there's one of the brother that I met, you know, and he said to me, oh, you people for churches, whatever. Now you're going to be telling us about tithes and offerings, all oh, this, that, this, that, everything, giving, giving. I said, uh-uh. Hold on. Before you even get to the giving side, don't even go there. Just tell yourself, I, I don't see it. Don't talk about the giving side. What you must understand is you need the seed of the word of God. The seed that will enter into your spirit. And because he said, ah, me, if only you can help me with money, what I want is money. It's only money I want. And then I said, you know what you need? You need the word of God to be planted in your spirit so that the word of God can tell you what to do, how to make the money that you you are looking for you know so why, why am i saying this the word of god it gives wisdom the, the wisdom that gift that wisdom is what it says what the quality of having experience knowledge and good judgment 
So when you have the wisdom of God, you know what to do with the word that you receive. God tells you, guides you. Glory to God. And you know where to apply it, how to apply it. During, um, I think it was uh, for on an inspiration for you recap yesterday. Was it just that it was so Saturday on Friday there's one of the inspiration that is shared that we need to hear the voice of God we need to train ourselves to hear the voice of God like some people they'll say I heard something say like you know something told me I shouldn't go there so they call the voice of God something that voice of God is not something it is the voice of God that is telling you what to do but most of the times we come to a situation whereby maybe we just reject that voice or we just ignore the voice like for example I'll tell you um, a specific incident something that happened yesterday you know during the inspiration for you i shared that uh one of the testimonies that i had concerning you know um some of the gifts that i received for free and it has to do with my event business and so forth thing that i didn't pay for you know so there was there's a certain vase like a glass um it's a very long nice glass you know uh, i had put it just along the way you know by the door and when I was passing by, the Spirit of God said, remove the glass, you know. That was the voice, he says, remove it or switch on the light so that it can be bright. And I'm like, ah, how do it when I come back? By the time I come back, somebody walked over and kicked the glass, the glass broke. And I'm like, yo, but when I was going, the Spirit of God told me that I should do this. You see that? So why am I saying this? That God talks to us every single time, like every single second says for the lord gives wisdom from his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding the lord gives wisdom so from the mouth of wisdom come knowledge and understanding so we need to understand this wisdom what is this wisdom glory to god wisdom is a gift so with all the messages that we share oh last week we shared oh god back we have been sharing a lot of messages Maybe you are, sorry about that, I think it's a call that's coming in. Maybe you are asking yourself, okay, all these things that I keep receiving every day I go to church, how do I make use of them? You need to ask for the gift of wisdom. Glory to God. So we are still, we're taking scriptures. Remember today it's where it's feast. So we all about just randomly sharing the word of God. So whether it's a testimony, we're sharing the scriptures, it's word feast. So we want to share the word of god and you know understand more of the word of god ephesians let's look at ephesians chapter 5 verse 15 to 16 okay let's look at ephesians chapter 5 verse um it says this is the niv version Ephesians chapter 5 verse 15 to 16 be very careful then how you live not as unwise but as wise making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil be very careful then how you live this is from the Ephesians 5 verse 15 to 16 it says be very careful how you live not as unwise but as wise making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil so it says we have to be careful that is what the spirit of god is saying through the scripture he said we have to be careful how we live our lives glory to god don't live your life as the unwise don't live your life like an unwise person remember here uh proverbs says that wisdom is a gift Glory to God. God has granted us wisdom. He has granted us the, that gift. You just need to discover it through his word. And when you understand his word, you ask God, how do I apply this word of God that you are teaching me? How do I apply the message that I'm receiving? Where do I apply it? I say it on an inspiration for you. I said that an inspiration that we share, they are spirit breed. And I shared something. I said an inspiration, like I'm going to say it here also. The word of God, the scripture is like a tablet. A tablet that when you take in, it goes and searches where there has to be a healing. 
Like it will search and dissolve the pain and put everything and align everything in the right position. That is what the word of God does. So when you study the word of God, when you meditate on the word, when you receive it, you say, God, cry me wisdom. When wisdom comes as your gift, when you receive that wisdom of God, the wisdom of God through the understanding of the scriptures, through the knowledge with what you have, it searches where you need to, pro it programs that knowledge that you have, where to apply it. Glory to God. And I once shared this. I said, let's say, you know, there are so many, you remember we have got so many professionals, we have got uh, engineers, we've got mechanical engineers, we've got software engineers, we've got, you know, different types of um, engineers and other professionals as well, like uh, uh, accountants and so forth. You know, have if you check, let's say, let me give an example for an engineer, because my brother is an engineer, so I, 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 I always, <laughs> I talk about what I know, you know, so what I want to say is that as an engineer person, you know what happens is, let's say you are given a, pro a task, right, you are given a project to do, your, your manager or your boss, whoever gives you a project to do, right, when you go for that maybe they're given a certain machine to work on to fix and so on and because they're an expert they expect you to know what to do right you get to that machine and you see there's a complication there and you're asking okay how do i do this you go to search to your manuals you search to, to the books everything you try to find a solution and you don't find you know and you're like but i have so much knowledge where how where, where do, am i going wrong and I said last week, as I mean last time, I said that, hey, do you know that when you have the wisdom of God, when you partner with God, when you do your work with God, anything that looks complicated, the voice of God will say, look there. The moment you look at it, ah, man, I should have seen that thing. But you struggled with it for a very long time. You struggled, you couldn't do it even though you are expecting it. Now, because it's God, God says, just shift this. The moment you shift it, everything is in order. And then you're getting all the praise. Yes, you did it. You did it, you did it. It is because you have, I mean, you partner with God. Glory to God. You partner with God in everything that you do. So this wisdom that we are talking about, it is the wisdom that works in every area of your life. It works in your marriage. It works in your business. It works in, I mean, in everything that concerns your life. But now, most of the times, the reason why we have some challenges here and there is because we live anyhow. We don't listen to the voice of God as God is telling us what to do. We are like, ah, you know, we always have a way of ignoring that voice, which is the voice of God. Glory to God. So we are word feasting, right? So it says, Ephesians 5, 15, it says, Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise. Making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. It says, making the most of every opportunity. So we are not living as the unwise. We are living as the wise. Why? Because God has made us wise. He has given us the wisdom. Glory to God. So if you are saying, you know what? I, I haven't really experienced this. Ask God for it. Ask for that gift. For the wisdom. Glory to God. The wisdom. Uh, there are some of the scriptures on my way that I, want, I, I shared before. There's one of the scriptures in the book of Proverbs that tells you that we st what, what you need. I think I actually have the scripture here as we go. We will look at it. Maybe at this Proverbs 19 or uh, Proverbs 4. We will look at it as we take all the scriptures. Glory to God. It says that, it says that what you need is it says when you have wisdom, you have everything. Wisdom causes money to come to you wisdom so that means all we need is the wisdom the wisdom will tell us where to go to what to do for us to live the life that we want glory to god i know we all have dreams we all have got certain lifestyles that we want to live and so on we are just wisdom step ahead to our lives glory to god so god wants us to live in this wisdom so be very careful then how you live not as unwise but as wise so live as the wise one through the word 
glory to God, making most of every opportunity for the days that we are in our evil now. Glory to God. So let's look at James, um, James 1, verse 5. There we go. Listen to this. If James 1, verse 5 says, If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all, liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. Glory to God. If any of you lacks wisdom, he's telling us, he says, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all. Glory to God. So God gives wisdom to all. He doesn't look at your forehead and say, ah, Rati, move. You don't deserve wisdom. Uh, charity, come, my daughter. I'll give you wisdom. Uh, Pinel, you don't need it. Do you understand? Like, he, 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 he doesn't do that. He says, if any of you ask, I mean, less wisdom, let him ask of God. So the question is, have you ever knelt down and asked God for that wisdom? Oh, you keep saying, you know what? Hi, man. <laughs> I remember I, was, I, had a, I had a conversation. Oh, my word. I had a conversation with somebody, you know, with a sister, and we were talking. And she's like, you know, this is a high time. We should live that, you know, a certain life. We need, we need to have this. We need to. No, man. Other the people of this world are living larger. You know, as Christians, we don't have cars. We don't have this and all those kind of things. You know, people are living better. There are people outside who are living better than us. Ah, look at this one. It's called it's driving this certain car. And look at us. You know, and. As she was talking in my mind, I'm like, God. And then she said something, said, no, what is it that they're doing that we don't have? You know, you know, there's something that I've observed with the people of this world. They apply the principles that are in the word. And they are consistent with them. And they produce results. And then as Christians, what do we do? In, because we want instant miracles. In everything instant, what we do is we just go and pray. We speak in tongues for five hours. We fast, you know. When we finish, we go and sleep. Whereas those people, they have time to meditate on what they want. They have to, some, they do affirmations, they do confessions, they do all those things. And when they finish, they go out and search for those things and they find them because God doesn't say uh, you this if God sends out a word when there's a principle that principle works for everybody that is why if any of you lacks wisdom let him ask of God you know that some people don't go to church every day but when you look at their lifestyle you will be like wow you know so as God's children, where are we going wrong? Why are we not having the things that the people of this world are having? No, we have the Bible says that God has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. The challenge is not that those things are not there. The challenge is to apply the wisdom. Glory to God. To apply the wisdom, meaning to apply the knowledge of what you received. Have the understanding on how to apply it. Glory to God. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God who gives to all. He didn't say he gives to, to he didn't choose people. He says to all. We are all God's children. He gives to all. So ask for the wisdom. Ask for the wisdom. Glory to God. So what we need is the wisdom. Once we have the wisdom of God, God will say, look on the side. Once you look, you know, there will be a, a, a trail of diamonds there. Why? Because you hate the voice of God. I said to, to the uh, men, to the guy that I was talking to yesterday, I said, what you are looking for around is just right beside you. What God wants you to do is to look on the side. And she was, he was like, oh, that's true. Glory to God. And which, what is the side? It's through the word of God. So we need the word of God. Glory to God. 
that thing that you want if you are trying to discover your purpose you are trying to know where you belong where you i mean what piece of puzzle do you need where are the pieces what's going on with your life you're trying to search around to see what are you called for if any of you lacks wisdom let him ask of god who gives to all what we need is the wisdom of god and what is the wisdom the quality of having experience knowledge and good judgment the quality of being wise wisdom is making use of the knowledge that you have knowing where to apply it and applying it coming back with result okay, there we are hallelujah so it's word feast and we are learning about wisdom okay so um let's look at let's see colossians colossians 4 verse 5 to 6 glory to god let me look at the new king james version we are just sharing the scriptures today Oh my word, I'm looking forward to the time whereby I will just be, you know, the, the, we thank God for this platform, I tell you. I'm looking forward to that time whereby I will be sitting with other cool, you know, great ministers and we just share some thoughts of the word of God together and, you know, I, I, I look forward to that. I look forward. You know, I said this during the inspiration for you recap that uh, there's so much that God has put in place for us and that we are going to do. And sometimes I'm tempted to talk and God is like, mm, keep quiet. And I'm like, okay, I'm quiet. <laughs> Glory to God. So I'm quiet. Holy Spirit, I'm quiet. I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to talk. Okay. Colossians 4 verse 5 to 6. Walk in wisdom towards those who are outside redeeming the time he went back again to the time walk in wisdom well you know when you walk in wisdom you save time when you walk in wisdom you save time glory to god there are things that might have taken you like five years to do but because of the wisdom of god at work in you it will save time it won't drag up to five years Glory to God. When God gives you a vision, because of the wisdom of God, it will not take you long to do it. Why? Because you are functioning according to the wisdom. Walk in wisdom toward those who are outside, redeeming the time. Let your speech always be with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer each one. Let your speech always be with grace. Let your speech always be with grace. Seasoned with salt. That you may know how you ought to answer each one. The wisdom of God. Glory to God. The wisdom of God causes your, uh, says your speech to be with grace seasoned with souls you will be saying things that make sense you will be saying things that people are hungry for you know um there's something that my pastor says during the service he says that you know you 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 when you he was talking about when you do your things excellently you know and that People are the ones that will be looking for you, that will need you. Not you trying to, 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 to force people in to understand you. And, you know, I remember, he said, let your speech always be with grace. I remember yesterday when we were doing evangelism, the person that I spoke to and who came, you know. When I started, I said, you know what? He said, ah, hey, you people, whatever, whatever, the church, blah, 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 money, this. And then by the, you know, God put words in my mouth that when I uttered the words, melted, he made him come down and he began to listen. And I was like, oh God. So it works. You know, it says, let your speech always be with grace, seasoned with so that you may know how to, how you ought to answer each one. 
The wisdom of God puts words in your mouth. It tells you what to say and how to say it and how to address issues. That's knowing how to judge. That is the wisdom of God. The wisdom of God teaches you. It tells you how to talk to people, how, how to address situations, how to talk to people, to say words that will make sense and they will take and they will respond to. The wisdom of God. It is a gift and it's special. Glory to God. You don't have to force yourself to, 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 to speak sense so people can hear you. Wisdom. Just say, God, grant me wisdom. Glory to God. So that you can be heard. So that you can be heard. So walk in wisdom. That's what the Spirit of God is saying. Through Colossians 4 verse 5 to 6. Excuse me. Walk in wisdom toward those who are outside. Redeeming the time. Save time by using wisdom. Glory to God. Okay, so I'm looking at my time as well. So um, let's see another scripture. Isaiah 55. I will soon be rounding up. Isaiah 55 verse 8. Okay. Let's look at this one. So we are wait feasting on wisdom. Glory to God. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are my ways. No, your ways, my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Glory to God. It says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts. So when you function according to the thoughts of God, everything that you do, the way you judge, the way you will deal with matters of life, the way you will deal with situations, everything will be of higher level. Why? Because we have the wisdom of God. You know, the way God does his things, I know the, it's not the way human beings do their things. But for you to function on that realm, for you to function on that level, you have to work with God. You have to work with wisdom so that you can understand his thoughts. So you can understand his ways. Glory to God. So he says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are my ways your ways. So there are, there's a way we reason as human people. There's a way God reasons. There's a way we talk as human people. There's a way God talks. There's a way we see things as, as people, but there's a way God sees things. There's a way God does his ways. And there's a way we do uh, 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 our ways. But now, when you walk with God and you are you walk with wisdom he will cause you to understand his thoughts he will cause you to understand his ways that is why when you when people look at you they will say whoa this one she's not a, a human person she's a superhuman being this one walks with God this one sleeps with God this one talks with God why because you have the wisdom of God. Glory to God. So we want that wisdom. That wisdom that when people see us, we, we are Christ. Like they see Christ. They see God. As we utter words, they know that this one, uh -uh, they are not coming from righteous mind. This is wisdom. This is God talking through him. We want to get to the level whereby when you are talking, you know, you are aware that you you have you are not even there. It is God working through you. That's why I always share this. I always I, I've been saying this prayer ever since I gave my life to Christ since I was 16 years old. My prayer every day was, Lord, use me for your glory. Every day, God, use me for your glory. Use me for your glory. I didn't know what I was applying for. But then I thought, you know, just to work for God is just to, you know, oh man, I was launched to do all those things. And I'm like, wow, you know. So when you say, God, use me for your glory, you want to, you want to understand God's thoughts. You want to walk in his ways. You want to know him. You want to, live, to, to function in that higher level. 
How do you get to that higher level? When you have the wisdom of God, his wisdom, when you walk with him, when you walk with him, glory to God, you need to come to, an, to a level whereby your, 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 this you dies. Like, you know, when you give your life to Christ, it says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. So when you become a new creation, your old new is gone. Your old new dies. You become a new person. That new you is Christ in you, dwelling in you, functioning in you, working in you. You don't own yourself anymore. That is why he says that we must not live like the unwise. We must live as the wise. What does that mean? It means everything that has to do with your life, Christ owns it. That is why he says your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. You can't live your life anyhow. As a child of God, you don't just to open your body for everything. Every demon, when they want to have access, they come to you. Every spirit, when they want to have access, they come to you. Why? Because there's no coverage. There's no cover. You need to, 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 to be fully armored. You need to be fully equipped in the world. You need to be fully protected in his presence. Dwell in him. Glory to God. So as a child of God, as, as a born again child of God, everything that you do, it, it's God first before anything. In your business, it's God first. In your marriage, it's God first. In your children, it's God first. In everything that you do, it's God first before you. So now, what happens is, because we want so many things, want to be everywhere, it's now me, myself, and I, everybody, I share that during an inspiration for you. Me, myself, and my career. Me, myself, and my private space. Me, myself, and that. But God doesn't want us to be like that. We came here in this world for a purpose. And the purpose is to demonstrate his character, his power, so that people can know him. Glory to God. So once you give your life to Christ, you are no longer on your low own. For you to live is Christ. Christ dwells in you. He lives in you. He controls you. He rules in you. And at that time, what, what I like about that is you're not in, in, into slavery. As a child of God, as Christ is ruling all over you, you're not a slave. You are, you are the beneficiaries of all the blessings that God I mean, uh, uh, aligns to you. So when you work for, you, for, for him, you receive every blessing, everything. Glory to God. So it says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. And my thoughts than your thoughts. Glory to God. So we want more wisdom. Wisdom that will cause you to do extraordinary things. Wisdom that will not make you scared. Glory to God. When God gives you a global vision, you will say, you know what, God, I am tacking it. Why? Because you are not the one who's going to be working. God will just be working through you. But we need wisdom to know what to do. And you know, when you don't have the wisdom of God, God will bless you so much. You will have so much blessing. At the end, you may not even know what to do with, with all the blessings. Now you start misusing them, treating them anyhow, you know, disrespecting people, being arrogant, you know, you misusing your authority, misusing your power, misusing people, you know. But when you have the wisdom of God, the wisdom of God will guide you how to handle things, how to talk to people, how to lead people the right way, how to, oh my word, the wisdom of God. Glory to God. So I'm looking at my time. I will, let's look at, um, which one did we take here? 55. Let's see this. Isaiah 40. Verse 28. Glory to God. We are wet feasting. Amen. We are sharing more of the word of God. We are sharing more of the word of God today. It's all about the word. It's all about the word. Glory to God. Okay. Have you not known? Isaiah 40, 28. Have you not heard the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the end of the earth, neither faints nor is weary? 
His understandable, I mean, his understanding is unsearchable. Who? His understanding is unsearchable. The creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. He doesn't faint nor get weary. Glory to God. That is why I always tell you that when God gives you an assignment, when God gives you something, you cannot get tired of doing it. And you can't run out of ideas. Why? Because he doesn't faint. He doesn't get weary. If you see yourself doing something without being consistent, just know that it was coming from your mind. You just wanted to do it. But when God instructs you to do something, oh my word, I, 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 I don't know how you have worked with the Holy Spirit. I don't know how you work with the Holy Spirit. I don't know how much of the relationship you have with the Holy Spirit. Until you do what God wants you to do, you won't rest. It pushes you. There's always, you know, there's a fountain. You, you, you know, you will ever be like a fountain. You can't go dry. You can't go dry of understanding. You can't go dry of knowledge. You can't go dry of what to say. The words to come. It says the words, your words will be full of speech. I mean, of grace. Your speech will be full of grace. Your speech will be with grace glory to God. And he says your words will be seasoned with salt. Why is he saying seasoned with He said the words that will be coming out of your mouth will be making sense. You're not going to be talking, you know, have you ever seen people that will, when you just get they just come sit down with you and they start talking, you're like, man, can, can this person just shut up? You know, you feel like can they just keep quiet already? Why? Because whatever that is coming out of their mouth is so cold, like cold, cold as in you're like, you know what, I'm okay, can I just go? But he's saying, your words will be seasoned with salt. He's saying that the words, that, the words that you put in your mouth will be so sweet that when you are uttering them, people will be saying, can you say more? And then you are the one who will be like, hey, it's nothing. And they're like, please, can you continue? Why? Because the words, the speech is full of grace, is with grace. Neither faints nor is where God doesn't faint. He's the creator. He's the Oh, my Calibra. He's the creator of ends of the eighth. You know, I always see on social platforms, I'm a content creator. I'm a world creator. There's a greatest content creator than them all. There's the greatest content creator. That one doesn't faint or get weary. It is the precious Holy Spirit, God himself. When he gives you an assignment, he puts something in your spirit, you become the content yourself. Why? Because he talks through you. You can't run out of ideas. You can't run out of words. You can't run out of what to share to people. Why? Because you have allowed the wisdom of God to dominate in you. Sometimes I, 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 I ask God, you know, you know, when he gives me something to share and I'm like, God, okay, what am I saying? And then he's like, please, just sit down and let me talk. You know. Sometimes I, I, I just want to get stressed and like that putting things together. I need to talk about this. And then it's like, can you just sit down and do what I'm telling you? You sit down. I need your mouth. And he says, so remember, I said, just open your mouth. He says that to Moses. Moses was complaining. Mo Me, I messed up. What am I going to tell the, 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 the Pharaoh? What am I going to tell the people that you said, who sent me? He said, just go. I am. He sent me. But God, I don't know what to say. I messed up. I said, Moses, can you stop disturbing me? Go. I know we are men who are like Moses like that, who are ever looking for excuses. God, can I do it? Hey, hey, what am I going to say? What God wants is you. The least you can do for God is to protect your body. How? He says that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Can you let the Holy Spirit dwell in your body? Can you let the Holy Spirit have peace in you? So that he can function, so that he can work, do whatever he wants to do through you. Just avail yourself. What he needs is your body. That is all. Glory to God. So those are the scriptures for today. Um, let's see. I'm looking at the time. The quarter by quarter past. Okay. So which one did we take? Isaiah 40, Proverbs 1 7. Okay. Let me take Proverbs 1 7 and close. New King James Vision. Let's see what is Proverbs 1 7. If it's short, we'll, um, because there's one of the scriptures, the fear of the Lord is the beginning. Oh, yes. Proverbs 1 7. So, from all the things that we have shared, right, we are sharing its word feast and we are also talking about wisdom. 
says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. You are asking, this knowledge, where do I get it? How do I start? It starts from you fearing God. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Do you know there are people who don't fear God? Do you know there are people who don't care? They just live their lives anyhow. And then my question for you is, if you are like that, who is causing you to breathe in the first place? As you are being proud like that, being arrogant like that. Have you sat down and asked yourself, I am alive today. I slept and woke up. I'm very well. But who is giving me that breath? Who is causing me to breathe? It is God himself. Glory to God. It says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fear God and you begin to have knowledge. Love God. Seek him. Last week we shared Matthew 6, 33. It says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, and all those things shall be added unto you. So what we need is to seek God more. Glory to God is to seek God more. What you need is God more. Before anything, you need more of God. When you have God, you have everything. Glory to God. When you walk with God, you have everything. The wisdom is the package of God. Once you have God, you have the complete package. Everything that you need is available. So as a royal person, if you are from the kingdom of God, living royal, we have all things. Glory to God. Remember, we are on our journey. We are on our path. We are discovering more. God is using us and we are discovering our gifts. We are learning so much through his word. <clears throat> Excuse me. And he's causing us to do great things. The prayer that you should do from his font is Lord, grant me more wisdom. Grant me understanding. Grant me knowledge. God, as I go, please don't go to church and just to warm a chair. Don't go to church just to have fun. Don't go to church so that you can just make friends, associate because you feel bored at home. I'm just going to church because there's nothing I can. It's a Sunday. Sunday is for church. Let me just go to church. If you do that, you will not hear God. Go to church ready to hear his word go to church to, don't go to church to be an in and what do they call it an a spectator you know a, a, a looking around seeing who is doing what don't go to church to look around looking for mistakes looking for problems looking for this and that who's talking to who how who's doing what listen whatever that you go and search for you will find when you go to church Go with that mentality, God. I want to be perfected. I want to be excellent. God, I want to be the greater vision of me. God, I want to listen to you. I want to respond to you. Well, I want to be bigger. And God, use me for your glory. Glory to God. And God will do wonders through you. Hallelujah. So, if you were saying, I'm not going to church because they'll be asking me for money too much. I'm not going to church. No, the pastor doesn't say, come to your pocket and say, remove the money. If they'll say, give, you give. If you don't have, you don't have. If you have and you don't want, keep it in your pocket. Nobody's going to force you to do that. But go to church because you want to be equipped. You want to grow. You want to be better. As you become better, oh my word. That wisdom will cause you to do things that you never thought you would do. Hallelujah. You will be the one teaching other people the scripture on given shall be given unto you. Why? Because what you need now is the word of God not to know about money. Once you have the wisdom, once you know the word, the word will teach you how to make the money. And when that money is too much in you, you will want to give it out. So now focus on you receiving the word of God. Glory to God. Okay, so it's Word Feast Royals. Hope we learned so much today. I'm so super excited. I want to listen to the message. I'm looking forward to listening to the message again. I want to hear what the Holy Spirit was saying through me. Glory to God. I'm so super excited. So please, I hope you learned a lot today. Okay, so if you're watching me, hello, you're watching me and you're not born again, you say, you know what? I'm just listening to you and I'm like, right to you, like, wow, where are all those things coming from? I'm telling you, you can even be more better than me you know 
you know so you need to give your love to christ so if you're watching me right now and you're not born again you're saying right here i want to receive this christ i want to talk like right you know what i want to know more of god i want the wisdom of god you're going to say this prayer after me and you mean it with all your heart glory to god the bible says that if you confess with your mouth that jesus is lord and believe in your heart that god raised him from the dead say that you will be saved glory to god so i want you to say this prayer right now and mean it with all your heart say oh lord god I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Right now, I ask Jesus to come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. I receive eternal life into my spirit right now. I declare that I'm saved. I'm born again. I'm a new creation from henceforth. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Thank you for the remission of sins. I am a child of God. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations. If you have said this prayer, you are now born again. You are welcome into the kingdom of God. Send us an impulse. Talk to us. Share with us. We will help you on how to carry on. Uh, with your new journey as a child of God. We have got books that we can send to you that you can read. We can also, you know, share some inspirations with you that can equip you, that can help you grow every single day. Glory to God. So that is all for today, Royals. I would like us to just take say, a minute to pray. Let's just pray. Father, we thank you for the word that we received today. Lord, we thank you for the message that we have received we thank you for talking to us through your word lord now we understand the power of studying the scriptures and we understand the importance of us meditating on your word lord we pray that everything that we receive may it work in our lives may we know how to apply it lord we ask for the gift of wisdom increased wisdom in our lives of oh god so that we can know how to judge so that we can know how to speak so that we can know when to speak when to talk, when to say things when to take an action father we thank you because we know that through your word our wisdom has increased lord we thank you for the understanding of your word we thank you for knowledge lord as we go to our places to our different places to our uh, our jobs our businesses in everything that we do oh god we apply that wisdom and that wisdom produces results lord we thank you we're not just going to admire things from the people of the world but we are going to live in the riches that which you have called us for lord we thank you through the wisdom of god we become what you have called us to be in jesus mighty name we pray amen glory to god hallelujah 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 we thank god for the wisdom of god we thank god for his word we thank god for word feast we thank god for this platform i'm so super grateful to god for this platform to share so much of the word of god hallelujah so we are going to be here again next sunday same time glory to god same time 3 p.m hallelujah so we'll share more of the word of god i don't know what the spirit of god is going to give us next sunday i'm looking forward to it already i can't wait to watch this message okay so this is rati shalom i love you also dearly royals like i always say stay blessed stay connected stay in the word of god don't move an inch from the presence of god glory to god god bless you have a beautiful week ahead go and take charge hello go and take over we are god's very own hallelujah so stay blessed god bless you let me go off okay mm.